Hey guys, don't forget, we're giving, doing a giveaway for a Crydex blowout kit. Uh, jump over to this video, like, comment, watch the video for the details on the dump pouch, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel when we hit 75 subscribers. We're gonna do a random comment picker on the original uh, review video on the Kyde or Crydex blowout kit, and that winner is gonna get, I'm gonna get a hold of them, we're gonna send this out to them so they can have a pretty cool piece of, of gear for their belt to help them out. All right, guys, back to the video. What's going on, guys? Matt here with TNM Product Reviews. Coming back after the holidays. Uh, took a little vacation for the holidays myself. Hopefully you guys had a great one. Uh, we're coming back with another review. We got some more Olights to look at today. Uh, for this one, we're gonna be looking at the Olight Warrior Mini. And we have two different versions here, just two different colors, the desert tan and then the, the limited edition red. Um, so let's take a look at these and see what we got going on here. So for the Warrior Mini, um, again, it's another IPX8 flashlight from Olight. Overall length is gonna be 4.19 inches and your weight's gonna be 3.7 ounces. Uh, this is another magnetic charging light but it also has the tail switch so there's two ways to activate this light you have the side switch like all the sr series lights have but then you also have a two setting tactical tail switch so a half press and then a full press so for quicker access uh, to your to two basic settings it's going to be uh, i believe it's going to be your 120 lumen and then your full 1500 lumen so battery wise this is going to be running that 18650 we've looked at before it's 3500 milliamp hour uh, 3.6 volt 18650 like i said it's got the side and the tail switch the side switch does have that indicator we've all come to know from the s or the baton series as well as the seeker 2 pro it has it as well so your levels on this one, just like all the other lights, um, it does have a moonlight mode. Now this moonlight mode, however, is one lumen. It's gonna run for 45 days if you let it run off a, charge, a full charge battery. Hold that button down, you're jumping up to 15 lumens, which is roughly right around the same as most lights moonlight mode. That's gonna run for 150 hours. Then, we're gonna step up again, 120 lumens. Now you can start seeing it on the wall here. That'll run for 18 hours. Now we're going to 500 lumens. This will step down after four minutes to 500 lumens. That'll run for 205 minutes. And it'll step down again to, I'm sorry, it'll step down to 170 lumens after 218 minutes. And the 170 will run for 50 minutes. And then, from the on position, the double tap, that gets you your 1500 lumens, that'll run for four minutes. Step down to 500 lumens for 205 minutes. Step down again to 170 lumens for 55 minutes. So that's where your tail switch comes into place too. If you fully depress it, that's gonna be your 1500 lumens. Your half press, 120 lumens. Now this does also come with the strobe mode. As you can see on the wall there, and that'll be the 1500 lumens as well. Uh, your light intensity is going to be 9,025 candela. Your beam distance is 190 meters or 630, or I'm sorry, 623 feet in your distance. Color-wise, as you see, like I said, we've got the desert tan. We have the real nice red. Also comes in black, desert tan, camo. And then it has the season colors. Uh, titan these are all titanium alloy. Uh, so titanium, the black onyx, blue, and then the burnt, that multicolor I've told you about before. And then they do have a copper, uh, solid copper version as well. So that's what you're looking at for the colors. And then price wise, um, anywhere from about $85 
Uh, I found some of the seasoned colors, the Eternals, uh, Spring, Copper, for about 120. So that's what you're gonna be looking at there. All right, guys, so let's get you outside, show you what the light looks like at night, and we'll be back with you. All right, guys, so we're outside here. We're gonna take a look at the light output on the Warrior Mini. Uh, so moonlight mode, obviously you're not gonna be able to see it on the camera if I just shine it down the road here, but holding my hand out, that's that one lumen. Obviously, you know, if you need to, need to see the lock on your door or something, yeah, sure, it's fine. Uh, but you're not going to get much brightness out of it. You're not going to be able to see it anywhere. Press and hold the button down to step two. It's going to be 15 lumens. So this one here, you can see, you can start seeing down the, the alleyway here. Uh, so that'll run for, the moonlight will run for 45 days, as I stated. The 15 lumens on step two will run for 150 hours. Pressing the button down again, going up to 120 lumens for 18 hours. So now you're really able to start seeing what's going on. Next step is 500 lumens. So, I mean, you can pretty much see anything you want to there. So the 500 is going to run for 128, or 100, yeah, I'm sorry. It's going to run for 218 minutes, step down to 170 lumens for 50 minutes. And then if you double tap that button, we're going to turbo mode, 1500 lumens for four minutes. Uh, then you got step down to 500 lumens for 205 minutes, step down again to 170 lumens for 55 minutes. And then here's your half press on that tail switch. That's at 120 again. And then the full press for the 1500. So definitely a nice, nice light if you're trying to, trying to light up close to you, it's not gonna get a ton of range. Um, on the 1500 lumens, obviously you can see pretty far down the road there but I can see where it starts tapering off really close. So that is the, the Warrior Mini light output. All right, guys, that's all I got for you here today. Have a good one. Later.